With the reveal of our next Call of Duty being called Black Ops 4, we got pretty excited, but there was a kind of a big problem that was going around because everyone was excited, everyone was looking for some information, but the problem is, is that the information we had was super limited. All we really knew at this point was that the next Call of Duty is going to be called Black Ops 4, and that's pretty much it. But there were some things that were kind of hidden around and kind of teasing at what may be happening inside Black Ops 4, whether it be the game itself or campaign or we're not exactly sure. And that's what I want to be talking about in this video, just talking about the little hints and easter eggs that they've been spreading around that I don't think that many people would exactly notice just by normally or casually looking at this and that's what I want to bring to you guys in this video. And and why I actually got interested in all of this was from something I'm pretty sure you guys have all seen and that's the slogan for this game or at least what seems to be the slogan that we all saw at the end of the teaser trailer and of course as you guys know it's forget what you know and this was interesting and I was interested in it right away but I really couldn't make that much of it because what do they mean forget what you know <laughs> like okay that, that's cool and all but what but then later on, some people actually found a little easter egg on the new updated map Redwoods Winter and I believe Glitching Queen was the first one to actually locate this and I want to show you a little picture on screen right now just showing you guys it. And you guys may not notice it right away but if you look close enough you can see right here in Kinda Graffiti it will say remember to forget. And these two were still interesting, but again, we couldn't really make that much of it. But then I found something, and I'm sure a lot of other people have noticed it too. But I went on Twitter and looked at Vonderhaar's Twitter, and as you guys can see, it's what is going on. He's deleted all but one tweet, his header has changed, and of course his profile picture have all changed. And I really want to talk about this, because if you look at the header, it says, Redacted. And if you guys don't know what that means, and the only reason I assume anybody would not know what it means because I didn't know what it means, so I had to look it up. But what it means is to censor or obscure for legal or security purposes. And that really caught my eye. But then I also want to look at another little hint he had in his only not deleted tweet. And really, it started to all make sense with all the other hints that we were getting. Remember to forget or forget what you know and of course redacted all these started to make sense I started trying to figure out what's going on here and then this tweet came along and threw a curveball at me and I just am lost all over again because I'll read for you guys now I also have it on screen but what it says is I used to see everything in absolute terms black or white zero or one what happens next will show you what I have learned that you do not yet know lights out and what does that even mean? I honestly can't even give you a guess what's going on here and I'm kind of curious if it's actually maybe a quote from someone in campaign. I doubt that they're actually talking about anything zombies here so I imagine this will all relate to campaign but still I'm curious to see what this is because if this is a quote even though it's not in quotation marks but you know they may be doing that because they want to give out exactly too much because I find this hard to see that this is actually Vaughn saying this himself it sounds like something that they're maybe just talking about what's going to be happening in game so if I had to assume I'd imagine this is going to relate to campaign but in which way I don't know but I decided to bring you this last piece of hints or Easter eggs whatever you want to call it even though I can't make anything of it but then going back a little bit back to the redacted I could actually kind of start figuring out what's going on here because Redacted, like I said a while ago, it means to censor or obscure for legal or security purposes. This may be relating to what we're hearing in all the other ones, because remember, the other ones are forget what you know or remember to forget. And I came up with two ideas that could possibly be happening. And one of them could mean that when we're playing campaign, we might be set inside an oppressive government because they are censoring things or redacting things for legal or security purposes. And that would make sense with saying, forget what you know or remember to forget. And that could be giving us an idea of what exactly is going to be going on. And I think it's a really good guess. But I still have a problem with that one. And this was another idea that I don't know who brought it up. I heard it somewhere, but this one's not my 
own, but it's another interesting idea. It could still be relating to what's happening in the story, but not in the way that I just said. Maybe it's not talking about an oppressive government or something like that. Because if you remember when we first got Forget What You Know in the teaser, what all happened right before it said Forget What You Know? It was showing you clips from Black Ops 1, 2, and 3. So maybe it's saying that Forget What You Know what happened inside the past three titles because maybe in some ways whatever you saw, at least from your player's perspective, was incorrect. Maybe you weren't exactly on the good side even though you thought you were. It may be relating to something like that because it would make sense to show you all these clips of everything that happened in the past but then say forget what you know because it's implying that that was all incorrect and now it's going to show you what really happened. Maybe it'll actually explain more to Menendez or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Or even the AI in Black Ops 3. I forget that guy's name, but that would be another interesting idea. And I honestly like both of those ideas relating to the campaign story because I would like to see more of the campaigns. Maybe we play, we look at these exact same campaigns from a different perspective. Imagine we're jumping back and forth between between Black Ops 1, 2's, and 3's campaigns, except not looking at it from Mason's perspective, or the other Mason, or whoever we were in Black Ops 3, we're just looking at it from a different perspective, seeing how maybe we were playing as bad guys all along, or something like that. And I like that idea a lot, but for some reason I find the first idea much more likely that we're living in an oppressive, or at least experiencing an oppressive government, or something like that. But there's the last idea that maybe says that it's not even relating to anything story-wise for the campaign or anything. And the reason it's saying this, and it could still follow the line of thought of the previous one we talked about because I said just to make clear, it says remember to forget after showing everything from Black Ops 1, 2, and 3 because it's not talking about the story because you have to remember it showed multiplayer also and zombies. So maybe they're talking about Call of Duty as a whole. Forget what you know about how Call of Duty used to be because we also did see a little statement that was made by Activision, I'll actually read it out for you guys, and it says, In what represents a game-changing experience, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 will revolutionize the top-selling series in Call of Duty's history when it launches worldwide on Friday, October 12th. So maybe they're relating just to Call of Duty itself, possibly. I find this one to be the most doubtful one, but it is another possibility because it does fall in that line of, I guess, uh, of what they're really saying here. Doesn't it line up with what's happening on Von der Haar's account? That one is still a big mystery, but at the same time, it could just be saying forget what you know about Call of Duty or remember to forget what you know about how Call of Duty used to be. That's another idea that was floating around, but that's about it for me, but what do you guys think? You guys think it's one of these three ideas I presented to you guys? Or actually, I'll even put a poll right here. I'll put up the different ideas and tell me what you guys think. Do you guys think that they're talking about an oppressive government? Maybe they're talking about how our perspective was completely wrong about all the other previous Call of Duty Black Ops or the Black Ops series, I should just say. Or do you think they're talking about Call of Duty as a whole and forget how it was? Or maybe something new. I'll put all those options in the poll right here. You just guys go ahead and check that out. Vote on whichever one you think it's going to be. And of course, you just tell me right there. Also, leave some comments. Tell me what you guys think about this too. But anyways, that's about it for me. And if you guys did enjoy this video and you found it entertaining, then go ahead and like, subscribe, bell, share, and especially watch the video multiple times over. But that's about it for me, and I'll catch you guys on my next video.